prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. That Sammy's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage, back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even some criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Man, I, I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a, a reach to me. Uh, you know, I, I had him more as a, a day three kind of guy. Uh, there was a split camp. A lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I, I'm guessing the, the the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and, and maybe that adds some value to him. But uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit for sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, what about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head-scratcher or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to somebody with the team, and they look, they're, they're excited to get this guy. This is a guy they really want. And the two points the club made to me were, one, you know, this whole debate, is he a hitter, is he a pitcher, you know, what are you going to do with him? There, there was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This team feels like he's a, he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play him both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to sniff around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him because there, there's no trades. And, and they felt like if they didn't take him where they did, somebody else was going to get them. And they just absolutely did not want that to happen. Jim Callis, we appreciate the time. Thanks. A minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while.
A player receives a check-in from one of his coaches. League Baseball is live and on the air on Joe random gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd Dan any thoughts off here this guy has three the pitches right that he brings hey, into his mix power. and if he has all of them working he has a First chance two. to be really Six solid five. a good pitcher but he needs command of all three of his pitches Hayward is right there as he puts it away no problem for the first down Next up, Jamison Hanna. The center fielder. Jameson Swing and a little blooper to center. Center fielder coming on. Base hit. And that's their first of the new campaign. At the plate, Brian Saucedo. This is driven to right. And no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Love to homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Michael Tolia comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hayward is under this one, and that's out number two. Next, it'll be Peyton Engel. The catcher. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. On one. Here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side. First offering. High in the air out to center field. Oh, you take it, take it. Ramos is there. One pitch, one out. Next, here is Ryan Valade. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air to right field. And two quick outs here in the second. Next to dig in, Alan Trejo. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Alan Trejo. Owen won the count. Sent out to straightaway center field. Ramos is right it. there, and he will put it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied 2-2. So stepping in is Joe Random. Guys, I want to talk about the two-way experiment they're running with him. He'll mainly be working out of the rotation, but in between starts, he'll get a chance to play in the field. What's going to be the key? Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. And he is in there. So now into the box is Jacob Hayward. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Runners are in the corners with one man out. Here's a pop-up now. Trejo over to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Next to hit is Ryan Howard. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. He's set. The 3 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Now to the plate, the, the pitcher, pitcher, Ty Culbreth. Ty. 9 1 and 2 oh, right. do up, and he fouls this one off.
Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in will be Howard Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and there were two down. Next, it'll be Jamison Hanna. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Get back toward the mound. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. And stepping in, Brian Saucedo. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. On to first, and that is two quick outs. to start the fourth. Digging in next, Peyton Engel. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Well, yeah, this lineup is so yeah, deep, yeah. one through nine, they can well, put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. In there, strike two. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. This and out. we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, no Joe pitcher. Random. He singled in his first A.B. No balls in one strike. Nice and patient, one at a time. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get down for a two-out single. You got it. Round it. Hey, we came into this one wondering how he was going to throw on the mound. That all goes out the window. He just mixed in his second knock of the game. He's going to be smiling for a while on this. Striding in is Jacob Hayward. Now One for two in the ball game thus far. Jacob. Two and oh count and the pitch. That's ball three. If I'm in the box Rainbow. right now, I'm no coming three. unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Fly right here. And this pitch misses ball for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. And now here is Ryan Howard. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Hit the other way out toward right field. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. 
New inning set to get underway. And stepping up is the shortstop, Ryan Valade. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. Ramirez is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Now that the second base. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The wind up and the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Up next, now Ty Culbreth. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Reined in. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half. Now at the plate is Howard Burt. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And now, Jamison Hanna. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. And a slow curveball in there for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his Straight spots, up. and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful bye, bye, up to this point. And there's out number two. So next to bat will be Brian Saucedo. Two RBIs Ryan. already. Looking for Saucedo. more here. Hey. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken ball. all night. Do it again, I dare you. The count now at two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. The bases are empty here with two men out. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play one, 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 right one. in his wheelhouse. He's got it. Over to first, oh. and that retires the side. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Your Brandon Gold is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night. Now here it comes. Into center field, line drive base hit. Found it. Find the ball. Find the ball. That base hit was screaming off. And our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Ready now is Jacob Hayward. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. This is line to left. Saucedo is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now to back, Ryan Howard flew out last time up. Shortstop. The set and the 1 1 pitch. In there, now the throw. Is there and he's out trying to take second. Check out the lead here. That's about as standard as. All set for the start of the inning. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Michael Tolia. Now here's the pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. 
Hayward will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Next up is Peyton Engel, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Now batting. Now into the box, Jose Gomez. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. Now to the plate, here is Ryan Belade. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring in time this game become a lot greater. And nothing will come of a two-out double as the inning is over. Joe McCarthy will start to loosen up in the end. Four to two with a final score tonight. The Flying Squirrels took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Joe Random gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Carlos Sano records the save his first of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew on Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. The show's continuing coverage of into the box Howard Burt and we are set for baseball oh, yeah, here this evening tonight, the right hit sharply on the ground field it cleanly and he'll He's take out. this to the bag himself and there's your first out of the ball game and out of the plate Joe that Randall hurt. is back in the, the starting lineup for this one after Joe, sitting out last night's game Randall. popped up Tolia takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Next to hit, Ryan Valade. He was hitless in the shutout last night. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Now at the plate, here is Ryan Rollison. And they're runners at the corners now. Softly hit toward the hole. Reined in. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits. No. Stepping up is Brian Saucedo. Singled in his last at bat. Now the two one pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Random is there. Two down. Stepping in next, Joe Random, runner in scoring position with Tugan. No. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Hit high and deep out Come to on, left go field. Hard. You're scoring. Go hard. That'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Throw to second, but he's in there as a run will score on the play as well. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Digging in, the switch hitter, Jason Ramirez. He flew out in his last A.B. Random stands at second with two gone. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. On now to the top of inning number four. Richmond leads this one two to nothing. So next to hit is Jose Gomez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hit to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. And now in the box, 
Joe now Random, one the for two with a double on the ledger oh. so far. And there now the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jason Ramirez. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. The 0 1 offering. Hit back up the middle. Field on the back, pick it up, pick it up. The second for the first out, and the side is retired. So one run on two bases. At the plate now is Joe Random. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. Now it'll be Jamison Hanna. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Hit down the line at first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. He is in there at third is the possible go-ahead score. So definite problem. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Please get to the number 46, Nick Longy. This is on the ground over to first. A dive and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. So now here is now Joe Random, potential tying oh, run for him at third base. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Hey, it took him an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to fight as they lock up a nice... A double-A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. Mm. 
minor league base. So here is Austin Brock as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. First pitch on its way. And this is lined hard to deep left. Quintana is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So now to the plate. Austin Brock. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hanna is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Here you go, Stepping in once five. again is Austin Brock. Flew out right last right time up. Austin. Now the first pitch. Way behind that pitch. Count. It's 0 and 1. Ooh, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. And a big moment for him there. His first home run as a double-A player. Yeah, and you always like to get those first out of the way, no matter what level you're playing at. Obviously, he's got aspirations to play in the big leagues, and this is exactly the kind of production that this organization is going to be looking for from him as his... Austin Brock will stand in again as we flash it back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Bouncer up the middle. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So stepping in is Peyton Engel. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at-bat. Offense Angle. just needs to find a way to get that pass the baton mentality. Starts one at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Next to stand in is Austin Brock. He's one for four so far. First pitch of the AB now. Lifted in the air to center field. Hanna will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad the and get a win. Now the pressure is off. The if they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Two errors with 13 runners left on. The team's future stars are on. So the next to bat will be Austin Brock. He went deep in the contest last night. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. That is cool. So one gone in the inning here Elliot. with a runner at first, yeah. and the next up is Elliot Ramos. The 2-1 home. Line to the right side. And that's right, into the turn. outfield it, for a one-out base hit. And the throw in gets away from him. Now at the plate, Jason Vossler. Jason Vossler. Ready with the one and one. High in the air out to center field. Quintana is there and he has it for the out. Next up, Ryan Howard. The shortstop. Ryan Brock over at second. Ramos on at first with two down. Which misses ball for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. 
Next, it'll be Mitchell Tolman. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Ready with the 0-1. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. The lead is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by getting... Next to dig in, Austin Brock. He collected a base hit his first time up. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Come on now. Put so it now into the box is Austin Brock. Base knocked to the outfield to score the tying run from second. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Go, go, on, go, 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 go. He on, leaps, dig, dig, but he can't get it. It's down for it. extra bases. And the runner is in from second. And he's yep, safe. He made it. With that base hit right there, d -Roll, that's his third RBI of the game. More importantly, his team's now ahead. Yeah, these are the special ones. He's had a great approach all day. He's battled his tail off, and he's given his team single-handedly almost given his team a chance to win this one. That'll bring up Elliot Ramos. A hit in two Calvary. tries so far. Elliot Ramos. He four. loses him on ball Thanks, four. And as a pitcher, that's always tough. Looked like he got a bad break on some of those calls, but he's got to learn that sometimes the calls don't go your way and you've just got to move on. That's something that young pitchers can have a hard time with, though. Next, here is Jason Bossler, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. The 0 1 offering. Ground ball right side. Oh, right here, lets him up a bit. Digging in will be Ryan Howard. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. And not in time as the run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. It's five to two. Well, we all know that errors happen, but not all errors are equal. That one was especially costly as two runners cross the plate. Those are game changers, no doubt about it. Next to hit is Austin Brock. He doubled home a pair his last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder giving chase, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by, no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches, but when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He jumped all over it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Elliot Ramos. He's working on a one for two game so far. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. And stepping in, Jason Vossler, runner in scoring position with two guys. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One hit, one left. Next, it'll be Willie Quintana. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Quintana. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Digging in next, Marcus Efton struck out in his last trip to the plate. Hit hard on the ground to the right. 
And that is through into right field for a single. And now here is Austin Brock. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. Pitch out, nothing doing. Now the 1 0. High fly ball out to deep right field. Right fielder looking up at the track, the wall. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A two run blast to straightaway right field. Second home run early in the year as it is now 7 to 3. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him, and when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. Up next, Jose Gomez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Down the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Richmond used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Ray McGowan gets the win on the mound, his first of the year. Welcome to MLB The Show. In this pre Striding in is Howard Burt. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Fellas, you take a look at these guys as they get onto the field for the bottom of the first here this afternoon. Tough to complain about the start they're off to. Four wins in their first five games. Yeah, Matty, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dior, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday. And to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0-2 count into a leadoff base hit. The pitcher got the result he was looking for. Change up down in the zone, gets him to hit it on the ground, but obviously the result wasn't what he wanted. Jamison Hanna stands in as he looks at ball one here. Fouled away. Burt gets his lead at first, nobody out. High pop up. Minoso is under it. Makes the play, one away. And now, Michael Tolia. First swings for him in this one, with the runner still at first and one gone. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Runners on first with one down. Again, another foul ball. Heading out towards shallow right. Ramirez is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the plate is Nick Longy. He takes his that first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. This is skied into short left center. Hayward is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Austin Brock. He's hitting at a 500 clip in the series coming into this one. Five hits in 10 tries. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Hanna will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So to get his day started at the plate, Peyton Engel trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Ready now is Jose Gomez. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. 
Oh, and he hung him a curveball there, and he's going to live to regret it as this ball is going to wind up well over the wall in left field. A long home run. A solo shot here to left. First home run of the campaign for him. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Wow, he may be a rookie, but he shows some veteran power right there. Just absolutely blasting that thing out of here. As he matures and gets even stronger, you're going to see more and more of it. I think this bomb is a sign of great things to come. Reined in, and there are two away now. So next to bat will be Alan Trejo. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. No runner, no runner. I can't tell you guys how fired up Bobby Cox used to get when the eight hole hitter would get a knock. And I would know that, boys, because I batted an awful lot in that eight hole in the early days. Standing in now, Ty Colbert. A one count. Here's the pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Soft one hit to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. The yard goats are out on top, one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Howard Burt. Popped him up. Compton over to his right. He's got it one away. Next up is Jamison Hanna. He popped out in his first trip. High in the air down the right field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. Now to bat, Michael Tolia. He flew out now in his last A.B. He's set. Here it comes. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Up, up, Popped up. up. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there in the inning. So here now is the pitcher, Austin Brock, trying here to plate the tying run from second. He's set and the pitch. Line drive to left. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. On the back, find the ball, find the ball. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Hey, don't let the fact that this guy's on the mound fool you right here. This guy has a nice approach at the plate, knows what he's doing, has history. I'm not surprised he was able to mix it.